October. How's everybody doing this evening? Hopefully, all this stuff is working. Do you have it up yet? I'm just pulling it up. Ethan, what up? Bonjour! Oh, our child's here. Our, our chi real child. Uh, okay. Everybody done been talking a lot before. Oh, yeah? I'm still trying to pull this stupid thing up. Mikey has a nice raging headache. Good for you, bud. Oh, yeah, that sucks. You think Walter would be any louder with that bone? Mm, probably not. <laughs> He's over there chomping away on this damn bone. Like, oh, here he comes. Carrying his bone somewhere else. Bell's Billy. There we go. Been down and out most of the day. This is the first stream today. I see Monster Racing. Hello, hello. Jason Brown. Hello. We got Eggs and Ham. And Katie with the other half of Eggs and Ham. Uh, how are y'all doing? We have some eggs, too. I'm, actually, I'm going to show some eggs. Molly had a funny egg uh, this afternoon. I Let's did. move this stuff out Sometimes of the way. Sometimes you just get an oddball. Yeah, every now and again you get some weird eggs. So, I'm going to show you guys some, some weird eggs. Thank you, William. There we go. Some eggs. David, are you are you uh, are you loving seeing some eggs on the screen? I don't have any ham to put on the screen, but uh, but we definitely have some eggs. And check out this little guy. Thanks again, Jason. Just an awesome oh. little uh, beautiful little egg there. Yep, just a little baby. Generally, this happens from, uh, you when know... When they first start laying, they'll get oddballs like that. Little ones, and like, sometimes we get double yokers. Yeah, double yolks, but uh, yeah, when when chickens very first start laying, so they're, you know, adolescent chickens, uh, they'll have some weird-looking eggs in the beginning, but we don't have any adolescents this year, so this one was kind of strange. It's like a fully formed egg, too, and a lot of times... Yeah, you want to open it and see yeah, we can what open we got? It. Um, a lot of times these are, uh, uh, you know, like the shell's not totally uh, formed or something, or they're soft. Um, yeah, the ducks but, are, like, infamous for that. If you scare a duck when they're getting ready to lay, but the egg's still forming, it's, um, it's calcium hard shell. shell. Uh, if you get them at the right time, I, and it's only, it's totally a crapshoot when this happens, but... Um, they'll poop out an egg and it's like a jelly sack. Yeah, <laughs> and it's it's tougher than you would think. Yeah, think like a snake egg or something where it's got like a a leathery type shell, but they're they're hard or tougher than you would think. Um, <laughs> but uh, but I thought you guys might like to see the different colors of eggs that we get. Uh, so a little fun chicken fact for you if you guys are not aware of this. Uh, Chickens have ears, or what they call ears. They don't, like, stick out from their head or anything, but they're... It's uh, their ear little, holes. Yeah, it's their ear holes are there, but they have a little a little section or kind of like a little they're, round area that has different colored feathers. I think it's tympanic membrane or something. Anyway. Anyway, the whatever color those feathers are is what color their eggs will be. Mm -hmm. so, so, like, a red-eared... Um, uh, and this is what they call a red egg. So a red-eared chicken will lay an egg that looks like this. Well, they're actually darker than that. Okay, well, and then this is from an Americana chicken, uh, mm -hmm. this kind of turquoise color. And then, I don't know which ones are laying, the Brahmas, laying these lighter colored ones? Uh, actually, the Brahmas are laying... The darker? The darker, um, and then the Bard Rock is laying the so, light ones. So this is, so I don't know how Sussex. well this shows up on camera, but this is not a white egg. This is just kind of like a tan color, and this is more of a brown. Hey, Tariq. Uh, so we don't have chickens that actually lay white eggs. Uh, but So I wanted to go back. Okay, thank you for all the happy Mother's Days, everyone. And I'm sorry I'm like not saying hey to many people, because we just kind of fucking dove right in. Um, so there was a guy named Mike. Mm -hmm. S, 
Yes. And he said, what's up, guys? I live in Bondurant. Mm. Didn't know you were so close. Hey, yeah. did we just become best friends? Yeah, yep. we live we live really close to Bondurant. <laughs> Real close. Yep. And what's happening tomorrow, Mikey? We, we live in Story County. Yep, we do. We're we're to the been to the Bondurant many many times. Yeah, my doctor, one of my doctors is in the Bondurant. Yeah. Cause she she coo she coo she coo. Um. Yeah. So what's happening tomorrow, Mikey? Tell me. Tell me. Not a first date. Um, What's going on? I don't know. He's taking his time. Oh, okay. Who you calling a white egg? You assuming my ethnicity? <laughs> <laughs> well, this would really throw the liberals off because um, it does not not coincide with the color of the feathers that's right yeah the yeah the color of the feathers is totally different than the color of the eggs <laughs> winchester says he's finally going to tap that <laughs> <laughs> right on no we did just become besties oh dang really yeah you're killing us mikey what's up jixo nebby cloud um okay I'm going to uh, move some things around here. <laughs> Getting fitted for an ankle monitor? Question mark. What's up, John? Monster. Katie, I didn't say hi, but Justin did, I know. Do Kate. we got some ladies in the house? Because it's a ladies giveaway. La ladies day today. Mother's day. Do you want to open the baby ha egg? Happy Mother's Day to all the, the lovely ladies out there. Bonjour. Uh, Katie, I uh, Molly said she knew this. I did not know this, but apparently uh, you have a, a knee issue. Uh, apparently one of your dogs ran into you. I learned, well, I learned that you had a knee issue last night on Big Red's channel. Uh, yeah, but I then, don't talk to my husband. <laughs> but then Molly told me that one of your dogs took you out. So, I too am dealing with a knee issue at the moment. Ugh, Jason. <laughs> but mine is from my fake knee that got replaced, is... not because I'm that old, but because I had a... An injury. A, uh, yeah, an injury that resulted in many surgeries and then finally oh. a knee replacement. Thank you, BJ, dear. So, yeah, we're going to crack this open? Yeah, go for it. Here, how about we do it? How about we poke it with this? Okay. BJ, this is your hoag, OTF, and I'm going to stab this egg right here. Ooh, fun. You ready? Yeah. Is everybody ready for this? Are you guys ready? You guys ready? Here, let's get... I think I think we're going to get it. BJ, are you okay with this, by the way? This is your knife, not mine. <laughs> I'm guessing BJ's fine with it, so we're just going to go ahead and do it. Yeah, what the hell, Mikey? You ready? Yeah. Ooh! Oh, shot the egg right out. Look at that. I feel, I feel like we need to do that again. It did bring it off track. <laughs> yeah, you said hit it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here let, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. This is a bad idea, Jixos. <laughs> can can we, we ready? Yeah. Boom! Look at that. Did it show? Did it get it on camera? Oh, oh yeah. Okay, so that went in. You know, I don't know about, about three eighths of an inch, maybe up to a half inch. Hopefully it didn't poke the yolk because I want to your, see what's in here. Repeat yourself, Mikey. I cannot see everything that people post. Bowl? No, nope. it's a plastic bowl. Don't worry. No yolk. No yolk. No yolk in the baby egg. <laughs> yeah, all the little wonky ones are really typically something odd inside. Yeah, it could go could go a bunch of ways. And but. like when an egg is super elongated, that's. Typically a sign of a double yoker. Yeah, there for a while we were getting bunch yeah, of double yokers. Our very first brood of chickens, we got tons of double yokers. Yeah. And like Another... somebody would open an egg and you'd hear some the person opening it yell, Oh double yoker. <laughs> Another fun fact about chickens, when a chicken is born, it has all the eggs that it will ever lay already in, in the chicken. So yeah. The number of chicken or the number of eggs that a chicken lays, it's a finite number. And yeah, certain never... breeds have more and, and whatnot. But uh, but yeah, they have all the eggs on board ready to rock. 
Eat it raw, BJ which is, says. Which is interesting. Yep. Go for it, Molly. Eat that egg. No, I'm good. Thank you. I have had my protein today. Do, 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 do. You're not going to rock eat that bitch? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, straight protein. Fill a glass. I don't know. It. No, thank you. I don't know how much protein You would in there not have eaten it, with, Maxon. With, without the yolk. Uh, an egg white has the, like three grams, I think. The interesting like part is I there's there's a, a a darker, thicker spot there, like it was fitting to be a yolk, but it didn't didn't make it, didn't yeah. get there. Yeah, maybe it could just be a little residual blood. Here, we'll just we'll just leave these out. Yeah, that's fine. A little Easter just, egg. Yeah, you know, just, just let the people uh, view the eggs. Yeah, if you guys want to know more uh, chicken facts. <laughs> They're, fun. they're impressed, I think. Uh, fun, fun chicken facts. Th there's are, some weird, interesting things about yeah, them. Yeah, very interesting animal chickens are. Yeah, and they, they're very smart. Like, I was I, I was telling Katie earlier, actually, that they come when I call them. I just have to say, here, chicky chicky, and they come running. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the ducks don't. They're bastards. Yeah, the ducks are assholes. Yeah, though. Don't uh, ever get ducks. You ducks have to are chase a pain and in the herd ass. Them. Um, they do make really good eggs, though. Yeah. Um, this is a fun farm film. Yeah. Um, I thought this was a knife show, not an FFA 4-H meeting. <laughs> it's some of both. Hey, you never know what you're going to get here, John. <laughs> yeah, it, it it runs the gamut. So, so I posted a video this <laughs> week about the uh, Kaiser Slicer. And I've been carrying this thing and loving it. It's a fantastic knife. Uh, the designer of this thing, this uh, Mikhail uh, Golovic, or Golovic, I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, um, he actually commented on that video. And I think he said he was a little surprised that, that I was, uh, I liked it as much as I did. But this thing's a fantastic knife, guys. It truly is. Uh, it's it's just it's one of the most ergonomic. It's it's so good in hand. It really is. Mikey, I think you're toying with us. What's he doing? <coughs> Nobody sees it. Whatever it is. Sees what? That he said is gonna happen. Oh, what? I walk tomorrow. Like I graduate college. Oh. Oh. Got I it. had my uh settings messed up, so that's why I missed it. Uh, one thing I didn't tell you about last night, there was... Congratulations, uh, son. Zach's in here, correct? Yes. Okay. So last night on Big Red's channel, uh, Quentin was in there. Oh, yeah. And But he had multiple names going? Monster sent me a message just oh. like here a little while ago. I just saw it. Okay. Um, about all the different names. Gotcha. Okay. So... Uh, and and yeah. and they just kept deleting his messages, and I I lulled several times. You lulled. <laughs> I lulled. Yeah. Next week, Funny you want to see how to inseminate a cow. Well, we're gonna have to get a heifer. <laughs> yeah, we don't have a heifer for that. But I don't think Moog would appreciate my hand up his butt. Uh, fun fun fact. Uh, I uh, back in the day, back when I was still in school, I uh, worked as a breeding manager on a hog farm. Uh, and um, it was a sow unit, so we just uh, basically we just spent all day knocking up pigs, knocking up sows, and then uh, we had farrowing rooms. It was a twenty five hundred head sow unit, if that means anything to anyone. Uh, but we had twenty five hundred sows on this farm, only two boars, one in each building, and uh, so we would inseminate all the uh, all the female pigs or sows, and uh, then. There was this really long hallway that hooked the two uh, uh, buildings together, and there were farrowing rooms, which is the <laughs> the rooms that they give birth in. Winchester and, said, a sow unit? That yep. sounds like my high school. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Winchester, you always come in hot with some good shit. Come get it. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, quite comical, and... If you guys have never seen uh, the uh, the pecker on a boar, you ought to go check that out. It's uh, it's it's like a curly cue, it's like oh, a corkscrew. Hey, you that in that same realm, you need to check out a duck dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's something like, impressive too. After this live, 
You search it on YouTube because there are videos. Are there videos? Oh yeah, of okay. it going down like a clear straw. Oh yeah, because the accuracy. Yeah. The a, du a ducks a ducks business is. Uh, it's a curly cue, it, and it, it shoots out with a fury. It, yeah, yeah. Duck rape is something that's very real and yeah. very violent. <laughs> yeah, if um anybody should be clean, <laughs> concerned about any kind of. R A P E. It should be duck. R A P E. Yeah, yeah. Ducks. <laughs> vicious. Bir birds in general are vicious, uh, but ducks are, are shockingly so. <laughs> yeah, they're gnarly. Yeah. <laughs> we had a wiener operation. Oh, Howard the Duck. Oh my gosh, do you remember <laughs> that movie? Yeah, I, yeah, but I was not like into that kind of stuff. Oh, so that was so. I mean, dumb. It, yeah. I know the movie, but. Yep, I saw that Emma Emma was one. Zach said, oh, the fun we had last night. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty comical. I fell asleep during it, but I woke <laughs> back up and it was still going. Do you guys have a weird website we don't know about? No. No. No, yeah. just the one that you're aware of. Hey, that's a great segue. Speaking of website, um, we now have uh, some lovely, beautiful strops on said website. Uh, these are uh, handmade straps by Mr. Stephen Kluver. Hey, Big Red. If you guys want to go and, and check those out, but they are beautiful uh, brushed stainless steel. Uh, they're 14 inches long, two and a half inches wide. Um, and they are, like I said, brushed stainless. They come with the little OCD 3DC sticker on them. <clears throat> I almost choked. I almost died. And a little <laughs> made in the USA. Uh, sticker they got some beautiful rubber feet on them but you know this thing i mean you, this is something that you can just leave out because it's beautiful and then you know you have your uh, magnetic straps that uh, sit right on here and the actual stropping material is 12 inches long so you can run it one side or split the difference or however you want to do it no jason but you get uh you get a really, really nice, supple piece of leather, as well as a very nice uh, sanded piece of basswood for your stropping compounds. And, yeah, she's gorgeous. By far and away, the nicest uh, strop setup that I've ever seen. I, there are several different ones on the market, even some, you know, very similar to this, where they have a magnetic strop base like this. Uh, but, like, Chef Knives to Go makes one. Um, I actually have one that I could go and grab, um, and it's okay, but the it's just a piece of like plate steel, like mild, uh, just hot rolled steel, and it's not fat, uh, it's just powder coated black, um, and it's not this long, so it's a little bit wider, uh, but but a lot shorter, and Sorry, yeah. George and Dennis, uh, they both commented, what in the world did I just walk into? <laughs> George and Dennis. Well, you know, you, you just walked into 4-H class. 4-H <laughs> class, some stropping, some knifing, some eggs. <laughs> eggs, are you buffering? I was buffering too for just a second, but not anymore. Are y'all still buffering? You see the nails, y'all? I tried these new nails. Um and they are really, I'm really quite impressed, to be honest. What'd you steal? Nanya. What'd you steal? Nanya. I feel you stole something. Thank I know you, you did. Mm -hmm. So just a, a little FYI, just to show you. <laughs> Here is the Chef Knives to Go. This is actually the large one. Uh, they make it in two sizes. This is the large chef knives to go, and you can see here it's it's just a plate of three eighths hot rolled steel with four little feet just glued onto the bottom. It's powder coated, uh, but it's not flat across the top. It's got a little hump to it because it's hot rolled steel. Thank you, Stasa. And uh, hey, Stasa, what's going on, man? Um, and here's the straps that it comes with. It comes with a a thick piece of balsa wood, uh, and then a leather. And like I said, it's nice. It it's fine, um, but it's it's nowhere near as nice as this setup right here. This is uh, a very very nice setup for sure. 
So if you're <laughs> interested, these are up on the website uh, live, and uh, the the price um, you can use the code to get free shipping on it. Um, so yeah, go check them out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mikey, uh, you have more good news. Why don't you stop flexing on everybody? <laughs> <laughs> they come in packages like this, so you also get uh, resealable bags. And, yeah, very hey, nice Leo. little setup. Hey, Leo. Meant to say hi. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, so it's OCD for EDC.com. Thank you for the assist, Zachary. Right on. So what else is going on? Other than you stealing shit off my table. <laughs> we haven't even got into anything and you're already stealing shit. Yeah, well, you know, you shouldn't have got up and left. I shouldn't have got up Mike and left. Mike said, so a job I applied for, not the internship I've been doing, yet they offered me a full-time job. I'm going to get drug tested and all tomorrow and have to put in notice at internship place. Well, that is tight. Good work. Look at you adulting. Yeah, nice. That's good. But I'm getting a full time full time job too. Like, wait. So the job you applied for is a part time job, but you're also getting a full time job? Okay, get it, Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Do you have some pee in a bottle, Mikey? I don't for a drug test? Yeah. I'm sure Mikey's just fine. He's a good yeah. good boy. He's a good good kid. Yeah. Yeah, throw the the patch out here. Tariq says usually I make my own straps. Leather crafter pure hobbyist. Right on. You like to craft the leathers over yonder? Yeah. Yeah. You know, really, I mean, the the straps here are very, very nice. Like I said, you, it's it's a very, very nice leather, and the basswood is very nice. But the base is phenomenal. Really, really nice. I love the height of it. Um, the uh, Chef Knives to Go one is about half this height, and and it makes it difficult. Uh, you got to kind of, or at least I have to, when I'm using it, I have to have it off the side of a table so my hand is off the side. Um, but this one's a little, a little taller, uh, which makes it nice. And then, you know, I've got, I've got paddle straps as well, but they're double sided, which is nice, but then it's a pain in the ass to store them anywhere because you got compound <laughs> rubbed down both sides of the damn thing. Yeah. He is Winchester. And, and so, you, you know, hanging it is really like your only option. Um, uh, and it just, it just makes it not very nice for storage. It's fine to use, um, but you also have to hold it in your hand. You can't, like, you know, set it down on a table. Um, Hi, which, Spinky. You know, it is what it is. Like I said, there there are many stropping options out there. This just happens to be one of them. And this one, you know, is handmade by uh, our good buddy Stephen Kluver here in the Iowa. Uh, so, you know, mid Midwest quality right here. That's right. Nothing but Midwest quality. Yep. Except for Illinois. Discard everything from... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We don't claim it. <laughs> so... We kicked it out. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Good, good stuff. Good stuff. Leo Carpenter says, working on a new app and YouTube channel. Look out for Lions EDC. Okay. Tight. Right on. Tight, tight, tight. We will check that out. Um, Sounds yeah, Mikey, good. you are pretty pure and dead ass are for sure. But yeah, he's just getting one full time job. And Winchester says he's growing into marriage material right before our chat room eyes. That's right. He is. Yeah. Like you might just be able to peg down that girl you've been talking about. Yep. You're coming out hot from graduation with a full time adult job. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Make sure you lead with that, Mikey. <laughs> yeah, Tariq. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Way over yonder, Tariq. That's right. He uses acrylic, sand it flat, glue the leather, and sand that flat too. Nice. Yep. Right on. Yeah, I've made many a strop in my day. 
Um, but uh, now I've got, you know, awesome setups like this. So I don't even have to mess with it anymore. What's up, Bunyip? Oh, we had a funky little tiny baby egg. And so we were showing you guys because, you know, farm shit. Because farm life. Yep. Yeah. Goofy little egg, no yolk in said tiny egg. You never know what you're going to get. And we have many different breeds of chicken. So we have, I just brought out some different colored eggs. Just, you hey. know, for, for your viewing pleasure. Hey, Paxton, how would you know? That women love a man in uniform. <laughs> You're supposed to be pure. <laughs> You're supposed to be pure. Hey, Justin, my Joey the cat has seen too many disassembly videos from you. <laughs> he fixed his own laser pointer. Thought you should know. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Yeah. Joey's keeping it real. My dog is saying hello to your pups. Oh, Tell your doggy hello, Zach. What kind of doggy do you have, Zach? What's up, Grateful Panic? All oh, you beautiful beaches. <laughs> Paxton says, I live in Florida. They are all over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Keep it clean, son. <laughs> yep, they're everywhere. All over me, of course. He's a... <laughs> Okay. I'm not sending you any more packages or sriracha nuts or anything until you go to a convent. Oh, <laughs> oh wait, go, no, go not to a convent. a convent. Yeah, no, I don't know what you're thinking there. <laughs> Catholic Winchester, girls. Molly Rowe misses your face. Oh, tell so Rowe the, I miss her face. The An other enormous Maltese poodle. Did you I've, know that? Uh, no, I didn't. What, Zach's dog is? Mm -hmm. No, I didn't know what kind of dog he had. Do you cut the poodle's hair all dumb? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I, I figured we'd try these because they're quite wild. Yeah. I'm actually going to grab a, a plate for this because that one I want to cut open. Yeah. That, and then we got that fine. package to open too. Oh, yes. I got all the hundies sending me pack Paxton. I'm gonna smack your mouth. <laughs> he comes by ho running naturally. It's I fine. Know. He did it's learn fine. it from watching his papa. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Just a. Hey, Just no, no dick trophies. No dick trophies. That's right. Otherwise, we're good. Yeah. And and no hiv. Be safe. Use your head. The, the correct one. And, yeah, right. And, uh, you know, no herpagonocyphilis or anything like that. Right. Because they don't make a shot for that. Mm. Tariq said they don't use ba wood bases for the strop because of the humidity. Yeah. That, yeah. I'm sorry that you yeah. live in that humidity all the time. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's going to be a problem anywhere. Yeah, you don't want to use wood uh, for the strop base because... The wood doesn't stay flat and straight. Hence, why this one is made out of brushed stainless steel. Uh, anyway, uh, so this, so last night we went and uh, we had a little Mother's Day dinner. And then we went to, there's this really <laughs> great kind of local ice cream joint uh, here that is really good. And they had these cookies there and they had several different types of cookies. So we ended up getting a couple of them. And this one, I don't remember, do you remember what this was called? Uh, Oreo. It's Oreo something, but there's actually an Oreo, I don't know if you guys can see the the third dimension here. In the in the Z axis, <laughs> this thing is quite interesting. Uh, there's an Oreo inside the cookie. Uh-huh. Uh, so we're going to take a look-see at you it. You want a knife? Uh, no, I have many right here. What are you talking about? <laughs> that was the dumbest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that was the life. most retarded thing we have ever heard my wife say right here. <laughs> I have a table full of knives and she was get she was literally getting out of her chair. She goes, Do you want a knife? I was gonna get a butter knife. <laughs> oh my god. I think I want to I want to use the crewware on the old Adamus. I feel like this cookie, um, you know, this is this is hard use here. Bye, Jason. Thank you again. Jason out? Yep. Later, Jason. He's on kid duty. Wife had surgery, you know. Oh, yeah. And it's Mother's Day. Hopefully hopefully your wife is doing well. 
<laughs> Shut All right, the fuck gonna... up, Winchester. <laughs> Is he laughing at your retardation? No, he's talking, he's saying inappropriate things about our son getting all kinds of cookies in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is she not taking her brain pills? <laughs> Just an FYI, I fully endorse the Anomus for food activity. It worked very well. So. <laughs> Thanks, Ben Zach. He gave us full five, size Adamus. Five dollars, one vote for farm films. Okay, all right. Everybody wants that farm film. All right, we can do that. So here, I wanted to show off this cookie here real quick. Hey, Beaver Baron. You get an idea of what we're working with here. I don't know <laughs> if this is going to be any good, but Eggs and Ham said he put it in quotes. Do you want a knife? <laughs> Dash Molly Mother's Day of twenty twenty one. <laughs> Excellent. Put All it right. in the. You gonna try this? The archives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I eat the the non Oreo portion. Yeah. I'll it, try it. On. It'll do. I think I don't know the if these are just chunks of white chocolate. Is that what? The, yeah, I think is that so. what that is. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> it depends on the con or on the mm. conversation, Grapel. The Oreo is still crunchy. Thank you, Mike. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm. I was expecting the Oreo to be all mushy. I like a mushy Oreo. I don't. That was that was way better than I expected. It's not as crisp as like a for real. No, no, but it's it's. Is it crisper than you thought it would be? Crunchier? Yeah. yeah. I like it, though. Yeah. No, it's good. It is so good, Monster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. PJ. That was pretty good. Pat, right? PJ? That quote should be a fridge magnet. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Katie. <laughs> right, Beaver Bear? I like a mushy too. Yeah. That was pretty good. Here you are. Finish that. You don't like it? No, I like it. I just don't need it. Okay. Um, so, yeah, the, the cookie's solid. Yeah. The, the Oreo in there, good work. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty good. It's not nearly, it's not like overpowering, like mm -hmm. crazy sweet. Like it's, it's just good. Right. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, um, um, a cookie made out of a cookie. Dastardly. <laughs> that's right. Nice cookie play, in a cookie. Paper tiger. <laughs> so last, if you guys saw yesterday. We posted a knife sale because Mama needs a new pair of shoes. Um, Thank you, there's, Jixo. There's still quite a few things left. Thank you so much, Jixo. Greatly appreciate it. Love and support from a Peter Pan pirate from the Caribbean. <laughs> right on. Argy matey. Uh, there are quite a few things still left on the knife sale. A, a handful of things that I'm quite shocked that didn't sell immediately. <laughs> Um, nesting cookie that's so right if you uh if anyone's interested in anything you can go check it out uh there's like i said there's still a handful of things left that are uh quite shocking um, yeah right scoop them up yep it was Ma Nick. mama needs a new pair of shoes and dad's gotta raise some funds to get to blade show in a few weeks so you know there's that too Ooh, sorry about it chris Ooh, wee. i uh you guys, anyone that uh, is interested, I'm gonna try to. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. I don't know for sure, but you know, maybe we'll try and do some videos from Blade Show. Hey Kelly. Uh, hey Lindy. And do uh, do maybe some interviews and whatnot. So you guys have to let me know if there's anyone in particular that you uh, want me to try and hunt down, hunt down, or you know, smack around or whatever. Uh, what up, Lindy Lou? Did you guys receive the CMEs yet? Have they landed or are they still en route? I haven't looked. I haven't checked on 
yeah. tracking either. Have you all made a decision on Blade Show West? Uh, we'll probably go. Yeah, I think so. When is it? Uh, it's like October or uh. November, something like that. Okay. Shabazz face reveal. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> like, that won't ever happen. It's It's gone this far. Um, I, I have, yeah, I doubt very much that he'll ever show his face on camera. Yeah, and we don't want to get sued. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, he'll, yeah, I just doubt that'll ever happen. It was lovely, Mikey. I really liked the repping that you had going on. Did you show Zach, too? Because he, he put, um, Mikey put his Zach stuff patch and his OCD for EDC patch. Oh, nice. In his car. Right on. on. The, like, you know. Headliner? Yeah. Nice. Thank you very much, Mikey. We greatly appreciate that. Yeah, it's definitely his thing, Nick. There's no no force in that from him. October 8th through the 9th. Long yeah. Beach, California. Oh! In the I LBC. The it's LBC. kind of hard meeting Snoop the O'Dumble G. Oh. Somehow, I'll, some way. I'm going to get in funky touch. funky shit like every single day. I'm going to get in touch with my inner gangster. <laughs> Your inner gangster. Yeah. A man that hides his Go down face. to Manhattan Beach. Yep, that's where it broke that tree off on the sidewalk. We got wild down there. <laughs> well, mm, that, yeah. Yeah. Uh, those those color... X Games trips got out of hand. Yeah. yeah. What color CME would go good with the Tiffany blue pair of three lightweight? I got my wife one for Mother's Day. Just well, like I'm this one right here. Personally, put a black one on it. Yeah, but we're also going to do some other work to this, uh, which you guys will see uh, coming up. And, but yeah, a black one would look very nice on there, which I can actually show you how it'll look. I'll go grab one. <gasps> you oh, guys wait. lived Didn't in Manhattan Beach? Of... Who did? Uh, the eggs and the hams and the Katie. No, oh, yeah, and I was there. And they're also going to buy us dinner, which you don't need to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, you definitely don't need to do that, but um, I spent... <laughs> I touched my inner gangster once, only once, <laughs> grateful says... <laughs> Good work, bud. I touch mine every time I uh, get in the car. <laughs> I touch myself when I think of you. What? <laughs> okay. Well, thank so, you, I guess. Uh, uh, I was talking to Winchester. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is what you get with a CME. Um, it comes with a little handy dandy uh paper shim that's got a link to the install video oh hell yeah some alcohol swipes uh some little glue <laughs> and then the cme and this happens to be a black one uh and this is what it will look like on on your knife what if i grab a black and white one just so we can see Oh, I'll, I'll grab it real quick. Okay. Yeah. The black and white will look pretty cool, too, I think. Yeah, I think so. Let's check it out, shall we, y'all? <sighs> but was it a good touch or a bad touch? Nah, yeah, we white CME would be cool, Tariq, but we don't have white. And, like, the one thing about that is, I don't know about y'all, but I... I it just, it just would get so filthy because the place I use my knives is outside farm stuffing and they would just get so dirty. So I don't know. If you were like pretty conservative with the use of the knife, I think white would be cool. We are take we aren't taking no for an answer. Fine. Show me all the good places to eat in the Californias. Oh, there's some good good places to eat for sure. <laughs> yeah. Mikey, he just heard his notification come through on your phone. <laughs> oh. All right. Karaoke now? I got friends in low places. Oh, Big Red. That was my so, mom's cut. Yeah, it was. We just talked about that the other night. Yeah. So there's the black and white one on the teal pair of three lightweight. <laughs> and here's what the black one. No, Oop. we don't have purple ones yet, but you know. Oop. Good Lord. Things... Things change. Yep. 
there there's some some new colorways coming. Can he machine anything to make the CMEs? Like a piece of G Carta or different color G10? Y yes. Yeah, the answer is yes. Uh, I only offer them in specific colors right now because I'm one guy. Um, and I'm doing this literally uh, out of my home and shop. And uh, I have a full-time job and a family and a little mini farm and... And, you know, so there's just a lot going on. Um, and, but a lot of, I don't even know how many of these we've sold, but it's been a, a lot. Um, we have a lot of orders right at the moment. And, uh, yeah, they've been really good. And it's up addictive. I've been really happy with them. And I think uh, everyone that's gotten them so far has been happy with them, to my knowledge anyway. Um I know one guy was having some troubles getting them to stick, but um, I, he emailed me and I emailed him back and told him he needs to really make sure that both both uh, mating surfaces are oh, very Nick clean. Nick said, no, 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 I know. I was just wondering. Oh, okay. So He didn't mean to send yeah. you on a rant. <laughs> I'm not on a rant. I'm just saying. Yeah. Just saying the things. Yeah, everybody seems to like them. And everybody likes them? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Everybody is down with the black and white on it. Yeah. I kind of like it, too. I yeah, think, it looks I think. good. And, uh, yeah, what do you guys think if this had all black hardware and a black blade with that those color scales? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I still think the black and white would look good at that I point. do, I do. And here's what it looks like from the spine of the knife, the black and white. Oh, you're welcome, Mark. And then the black. Mikey says I need a knife to stick one on first. So, yeah. That would be dope. Very nice. Uh, speaking of little things like that and what have you, uh, we have a little uh, Manix upgrade kits as well. You guys may have seen those. And right at the moment, uh, we're just about out of ball cages. We only, currently what we have in stock, I think we only have one green one left. Hey, Mikey. Pretty sure. Just to let you know. It's, it's a lot different to machine metal than it is to machine uh, G10. G10. For sure. So and we don't have that if equipment. It was, uh, well, it's not that. It, but there's many, many reasons why I'm not building these out of uh, titanium or copper or anything else. And it really just boils down to that it would cost, uh, you know, probably 125 or 150 bucks or something by the time it was all said and done. Uh, because you would also have to drill a hole through the liner, which was actually my first plan, mm -hmm. <clears throat> was to countersink a screw coming from the back side of the liner. But if that were the case, everyone would have to send their knives in to have the hole drilled. Uh, or, you know, some people would be able to do it on their own, but the, but the location of that hole would be very uh, important and would be difficult to locate without some type of a fixture. Um, so yeah, all of that is... is soft, Mikey. All of that is possible, but it would add a tremendous amount of cost. Plus, you would be modifying the knife uh, with this way. They work extremely well. <clears throat> this one, this blue one, has been on this knife for um, uh, really, I, I don't even know how long at this point. Uh, but they hold up extremely well. If you want to mm -hmm. remove it, you can without any sort of, uh, you know, you, you never be able to know that it was ever there. So if you want to sell the knife in the future or whatever, you can pop it right off. You want to put it on a different knife, you can. So Easy you peasy. You don't have to be left-handed to use a CME. I'm nope. telling you, I hate these kinds of whatevers. Whatever that locking the mechanism com is. Compression lock. <laughs> so right-handed, it's way, way easier. And especially like yeah. if you're wearing gloves or something, um, it it's just better all the way around. Right, left-handed. Uh, we also have them for the shaman. Uh, and so go check out the website. <laughs> Mikey. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. You probably won't be invited. Um, <laughs> we, but, don't like, <clears throat> we don't allow redheads here. <laughs> <clears throat> Back to the manic stuff. Uh, we are, if you guys didn't already know, um, we are now a flytanium dealer. And uh, we have more ball cages coming. Uh, they are in route, and so as soon as they come in, that those will be put up on the website. 
Nice, Pat. With the Manix uh, upgrade kits. I have no soul. You're the redhead. You Stay have tuned. no soul. Uh, speaking of, um, Mikey, our, uh, <laughs> our son in here, I think he's still in here. I don't know. Um, you guys should be best friends. Yes, there he is. You should be best friends because Paxton has a thing for redheads. <laughs> Girls and his best friends yeah. being boys that are redheads. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of, when when's Dylan's party? It's coming up, yeah? Yeah, in a few weeks. Yeah. It's like the end of May. Sometime, gotcha. yep. Do you have a CME for the Capara? Yep, it's this one right here. Ginger. Same one that fits the the uh, Para 3 and the PM2. It fits the Capara. I don't want red-headed grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yep. Here, hold on. Hmm. Yes. Oh, wrong one. What's he doing? Oh, he's going over to the table. Of knives. Oh, should we talk about that? We're going to. Okay. We're going to get there. Okay, so here's a PM2 and uh, and a Capara. Uh, these are both sold, but as you can see, actually, I'll put a black one on here. So it fits the PM2, the Para 3, the Capara. We'll put a black and white one on the Capara. Yep. So... <laughs> Winchester, you nasty. Just like that. <clears throat> they experience and precision. It works beautifully. Um, if you go on our website, ocdredc.com, uh, you can check it, it lists all the knives that it fits. So now the one for the shaman, shaman, whatever you want to call this, uh, <laughs> it it is specific to this knife. It it only fits one one knife, and it's physically larger. Like the shape is different. Everything about it's different. Real quick, Sean Brian says. Yes. So I've had this Russian hussy stuck on my hip since I got home from work on Friday, nice. and I ain't mad about it at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the, glad that hoe is in your hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The the Russian mistress went down the road. Um, I'm glad it made it to you safely, Sean. Uh, is it everything you dreamed she would be? Because she's pretty beautiful. What's up, one minute? Well, let's be honest. That mail order Russian was sexy. <laughs> Not was, is sexy. Right, she still is, I guess. Yep, yep, yep. And that hand rub blade, the S125V, <sighs> man, that thing was so good. Having Russian mail order withdrawals. <laughs> What's up, Rick? Yeah. Okay, so one of the things that we're going to talk about tonight, uh, which I'm assuming what is what Molly just brought up, um, there has been quite a few things going around in the knife community here recently about uh, uh, people's... Well, there's been a handful of YouTube channels that have been demonetized, and there's also been uh, several people that have had their PayPal accounts <laughs> closed down. BJ, you nasty. Um, and so I just want to put it out there right now. So currently, as of today, uh, we accept just standard credit card payments and stuff on our website, uh, but we also accept PayPal. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to accept PayPal in the future and moving forward. However, I want to make it known to everyone that we want to make damn sure uh, that if you use PayPal, that nobody puts any word in the like in the little notes section that that is like knife or blade or or anything like that that can be misconstrued as being a weapon. Let's try so and like, normalize EDC gear. Yeah, just EDC or what whatever. I don't care. I mean you I mean you could even say Kapara or Adamus or something like that, but just not the word knife or the word, you blade know, blade or, or sharp, sharp or, or anything like that. If we're they're gonna play dirty, we're gonna yeah, we're gonna do our best to try and hopefully skirt around the bullshit. Right. Because uh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, it's just stupid and <clears throat> 
Yeah, it, or it, the best deal is leave the comment section blank. Yeah, for sure, and and that. But if you know, yeah, I get it. Or the people, crack. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You're be, probably better off. Yeah, they'd probably be fine with that for the heroin. Yeah, yeah. You could probably put on there for sexual favors right. and oh, everything. Oh, they're probably be fine. just passing forward the government funded heroin. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. No worries. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, so much for my yeah exactly you better get that k word right out your name one minute yep jeez use fashion terms <laughs> it's crazy no fashion though it, it's really crazy it, sean says yeah the first time i got her in the sunlight she shimmered like one of them fancy dancing <laughs> nice nice yeah rick i'm doing pretty good pretty good there's you know little minor things here and there but you know pretty dang good Hells yeah. Mm-hmm. Right on. Yeah, on Reddit, uh, Spanky says most swaps have an explicit no message in sale remark. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Good, probably good practice. So, you know, the yeah. fun haters don't come for us. Yeah, moving forward on the sales and stuff, we'll be mentioning that. You know, don't oh, put I... anything in the in the comment section or in the notes. I know, uh, Big Red. Especially it's not certain words, because it's just, yeah. I think it's stupid, um, but, you know, yeah. It's just what we got to deal with, so. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, so, well. Right on. Next up. So one of the things, oh, one of the things that I wanted to talk about, but my jackass wife took it off the table. So get that switch buoy out here. Oh, Boom! Damn. Old dad's on it. Yeah, damn we didn't it. even we didn't even wait till the end of the show. You should have taken one that was a lesser knife. I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> so, damn it. So the old uh, the old swisher sleesh or whatever you want to call this thing, Marcine swish buoy. Uh, this thing has caused. All sorts of controversy. Um, and, you know, it's a gorgeous knife. It's great. It's good in hand. Like, it's all the things. And why people lost their collective minds over this, I, I will never know. But it's definitely not worth, um, you know, everybody losing their shit over. Katie says I should get a pity win because it's Mother's Day. <laughs> a pity win. Oh, boy. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Huh. So, so anyway, the old, uh, the old swish buoy is, uh, it's a cool knife, definitely, and, and I definitely think that it's worth all the, you know, $400 that they're charging for it. I know there was a bunch of people all upset over the fact that the price went up by 50 bucks, uh, retail price, but in my opinion, uh, you know, this one... <laughs> guaranteed m390 what regardless of what your opinion is of m390 uh i guarantee m390 cost more to buy uh than xhp does and uh and then the anodized uh frame <laughs> definitely is going to be one more step and and add more cost to the the knife and then there's just straight up inflation that happens over the course of time uh, so the fact that the the retail price went from three fifty to three ninety five, I think is is totally legitimate and fair. I, I you know I don't see a problem with it. Supply demand, right? And the the craziest thing about it was, and I don't, I mean, I know you don't know this, Molly, but there was so many people, knife, you know, whatever you want to call them, Spider Co. Oh, fanboys, people that wanted this knife to come back so bad and nobody was bringing it back. And then Knife Joy goes out and does this and people hated on him. Like, like actually tore Knife Joy down for doing this after these same people were whining and bitching and crying, begging Spider Co. to bring this knife back. <laughs> And I don't know if people just don't understand how these dealer exclusives work, but the dealer has to buy all these knives right, up front. Right. So Spider Co. doesn't just build all these knives and then and then start shits. calling up dealers going, hey, who wants to buy these? Right, right. It's, it doesn't work that way. No. And, and A lot of people that talk shit about this stuff have no, no 
grasp on how business well, works and it's just it's just ridiculous what's i mean the things that i have read and heard about it just blown my mind i mean the the level of stupidity is is remarkable but it is a beauty and and it is really good in hand um i would like it if it was a little bit bigger you know um <laughs> maybe not quite uh k2 big but but the k2 is this is one of my all-time loves um but you can see here there's there's a huge difference in these two knives in the size department uh but hardware is the same on the uh the bowie and the uh k2 same screws both are taichung taiwan made and yeah they're gorgeous uh both of them are. Hey, monster, so. you know what I do want to hear? You shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> jokes. It's jokes. <laughs> so, so yeah, what what are your guys, what are people saying about the Bowie? People are just ridiculous, just bitching. Yeah. You know, not, yeah. not our, you know yeah, what I mean. right. People are saying that the, the bitchers are ridiculous. Yeah. It's, it was just, it was unbelievable, really. I, I can't believe how much, uh how much drama ensued from that one knife. It was just crazy. Yeah. It was just really dumb. Yeah, it is dumb. Like, just, just wah, wah, wah. And yeah, it just makes like, no sense. If you don't fucking like it, great. Shut just, up. Then don't buy it. Like, <laughs> right? Just don't, we don't buy it. We don't need your opinion, I guess. Right. I don't, like, and you know. shut your sewer. Like, I, I, and, like, how hard, is, like, even if you wanted to sh share your opinion, why, why do you have to be so fucking aggressive about it? it yeah. Yeah, like you know, just say, "Hey, I think this is a ripoff." Okay. Tight. Bye. Right. Like whatever. <laughs> like right. I don't. I personally could give a shit but, less. But but you could also just be respectful about it and just right. say, you know what? Um, I don't see the value in that, so I'm not going to spend my money on it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. Right. There's a ton of people out there that do, and so they're gonna, you know. E tech nar. That's my pretty teal knife right there. Yeah. This yeah. is uh, Mama's new uh, pair of three. Little Mother's Day gift here. Inadvertent uh, Mother's Day gift. I don't know about inadvertent, but... Well... I mean, it's yeah. here. You I mean, got like, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was. It just happened to come at the it, right it time. It just happened to come at the right time. Say, and I'll have that. Yeah. And she likes it, and she's going to beat on it. Uh, which is going to be good because I'm going to do some work to this and I'll, I'll bring you guys along for the journey on what we're going to do to this knife. And then and then she's going to beat on it and we're going to see how well it holds up. Yeah. So Exactly, uh, Poncho. People bitched and bitched about it and it still sold out. So, well, oh, yeah. You know? It sold out in seconds. Yeah. It crashed the website and sold out. And then, and then people get all mad saying that the dealer exclusives and sprint runs and all that are... Are, they they just get so angry over it, and it got it just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Like mm -hmm. these are all dealer exclusives. So Stephen, we do still have the website. It's OCD the number four EDC dot com. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, we were just on it earlier. Yeah, <laughs> if it disappeared, let us know. <laughs> there's new there's new straps on there too. Go check those out and CMEs and stuff and patches. And cups and all kinds of stuff. Is that yeah, go check the them out. USSF version of the Para 3? No. This is... Uh, yeah, I think I'm going with the white and black tube, dude. This is a... Uh, was this Knife Joy? Or DLT? I don't remember who did this one. This one's an S90V with like Tiffin Blue or Teal, whatever you want to call it. I think Spyderco calls it Teal. I call it Tiffany Blue. But, uh, yeah, it was a dealer exclusive. Yeah. Along with this, this is the Cutlery Shop Shaman. And this is a uh, Knife Joy Swish Buoy. And this is the Freight and Lock Manix 2 from multiple years ago. This one is in CPM 4V with marble carbon fiber and arguably the best Manix ever done it's a good one she's a good one 
Oh, so, yeah, Mikey. Uh, <clears throat> the child has no problem meeting new people and and making the moves on the ladies. He uh, he is outgoing and all hell. Oh, you're going to show I'm off what P got you? I'm going to show you guys what P got me, speaking of. That's one of the things. One of many things. Um, he got me this cup, and I put a picture of it on Instagram, but, you know, for those of you that don't follow me because you don't actually like me, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I figured I'd share it here. I was cracking up. Yeah, really funny. So our son got that for her, and then where's your rock? Oh, it's over here. I'll get it. Okay. And where's the... sweatshirt's the... in the laundry. Oh, the sweatshirt's in the laundry. He also got her a sweatshirt that... It was actually... I, sh I showed the back of it. It had, like, the definition of mom on the back of it. I showed it at the beginning of the uh, knife sale video that we posted yesterday. And then he also got her this rock right here. It says, Happy Mother's Day. I love you, Mom. Every day, around the clock, always remember that you are my rock. I almost cried a little. I'm not a <laughs> sentimental person, but since he's gone and I miss him, <laughs> it was a little tough. <laughs> yep. Yep. And then, and then he was sucking up to oh, her. Oh, yeah, not a crack her. rock. It wasn't a crack rock, grateful. <laughs> you know who was into the crack rocks? That oh, that, that damn horse. That damn horse. That, that horse, derby winner. That derby winner. That dude, he had like one of the groundskeepers. Speaking of crack rocks. That's right. He had one of the groundskeepers make him like special shoes to hold a bowl, you know? Right. And had his little pipe and... Uh, snipers don't cry. I know. It's hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but did you guys hear about this freaking... The horse? This horse that won the derby being on drugs? He's on drugs. He's on the crack. Yeah, he's been rocking it up for years, just free basing and and just racing and free basing. That's racing what he's and free basing. <laughs> My man Kilo G is on free base. Oh, thank you, Jason. He gave uh, us nine ninety nine. Thank you so much, Jason. Thank you so many much. We greatly appreciate all of the donations. Yes, donations. Oh, yeah, that horse. Don't hit me. I thought it was a trash. That horse legit smoked crack. <laughs> no, he actually had some lidocaine. <laughs> yeah, he had, he had some painkillers. I think I think he was on, uh, you know, he, he started out like most, you know, the gateway drug. He was taking like five milligram hydrocodone, and then that quickly escalated. <laughs> And he got into oxys and right. oh, fentanyl. He just couldn't run without and then, them. And then just straight went to brown tar heroin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That that horse, that horse is just. He's been running the streets forever. <sighs> yeah. Yep. He's a he's bad news. Yep. Stripped of his title. <laughs> his retirement's gonna be shit. He's <laughs> going to the meat market. Yeah, glue. Going to the glue factory. He's finna be dinner in yep. Canada. <laughs> yep, yep. We're gonna be on a plate in Montreal. You know that extra lean. <laughs> God, we're terrible. Yeah, I really uh, like horses too. But come on, yeah, she be loves realistic. horses. What What happened was earlier today, it came up on the news like Next first you know. thing this morning, and then I just went on a rant and like started giving the backstory of how this horse was smoking rocks. Grateful actually touched on one. That yeah. you had said earlier, he said, next thing you know, he's selling his body for H. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. Yep. Yep. This is about a horse. A horse. A horse. That, that ruined his future. That ruined his future. He was winning races, and, and then he just took it He just took it to a bad place. <laughs> Pat says, I want to hang with that horse. <laughs> My kind of fucking horse. Horse must be from Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> it's an Oregon horse. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. I've never seen a horse sleep for two days. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Ed? Yeah, he smoked crack and Wilbur was definitely on shrooms. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, that's the only way you get to see Mr. Ed talk is if you're on shrooms. Well, yeah, that, yeah. Well, I just No figured. Canadian hate, we're friendly. No, we're not hating. Yeah, we're not we hating. We just know that horse meat is legal where you yeah, come from. Yeah, It's not here. Not hate. So he had to be sent away. 
Right. To Canada. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. No S- hate at hey, all. Hey, sorry. We, we didn't mean to offend we're, anyone. We're sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good uh, stuff. Yeah. So how many of you guys have checked out the... Uh, the new uh, Quiet Carry. Horse carried. was trading hay for the rock. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yep. Yep. That's why it's so thin. Right. Right. And it's a good trade. Like, you know, I mean, the H is coming over there from the Middle East, and they can't grow hay over there. So, hey, you know, like. <laughs> What's this all about, Egg says? Boy, get with the times. <laughs> the winner What's of that? the Derby got oh. disqualified because he was on the drugs. Yeah. Yeah, the Derby winners on the drugs. The crack rocks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we actually, I, I'm pretty confident. Just, you know, this is all bullshit, by the way. Don't anyone take this here. We're just joking around. Yeah, the, but horse, the horse actually did get disqualified. Yeah, I don't know if he got disqualified yet. Oh, the, but they're looking into it. If he, he they're testing. tested positive for drugs, which he did. But they said earlier that they have not yet stripped him of his title. Oh, okay. But okay. it might be coming down the line. Yeah. However, I then, once I heard that this morning, then I ran with it and with this huge backstory about how the horse was was up to no good and yeah. living a life of of badness out Leg- on the road. Legend has it Charlie Sheen and the horse share the same salt block. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh that that horse was drinking tiger's blood and so why did they drug test the horse though? though? They do that always. Yeah, always because this for is such steroids, a high money high stakes thing you know the derby is one of three for the triple crown and they they always drug test any sport human or not yeah um if there is any possible advantage that someone could get when there's millions of dollars on the line blood testing blood doping all that stuff is always tested for by the sanctioning bodies i don't know if it's the um uh wada or uh it's WADA and USADA are oh. the two sanctioning bodies for like uh, most professional sports. Human I'm going to assume. Sports. Yeah, human sports. But I'm going to assume it's probably the same sort of thing. So they're a totally, you know, unbiased third party. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but but anyway, uh, so the, the winner got caught uh, with, they said it was painkillers and potentially maybe some steroids. I don't know. You'd have to read the story. Yeah. But that part is true. Imagine the peak up for that test. Nah, it's a blood. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna say they're doing blood. But tests. I mean, really, to be honest, it'd be easy to catch pee. <laughs> well, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So who who has checked out the? Uh, so yeah, they can actually be on steroids, Paxton. The Quiet Carry Drift 2.0 here with the thumb stud. <laughs> LSD. The horse is running sideways. This thing is phenomenal. <laughs> Loving this knife. It's fantastic in Vanex. Action's awesome. Thumb stud's comfortable. Blade stock. This thing is 85 thousandths blade stock. Love the drift, but have a native five salt gulp bag dump and holiday knife when we can travel again. Nice. Right on. How long is the blade on that drift? 3.3 inches? Uh, I think it's a little shorter than that, but let's find out. I want we'll do the QC together. drift with the gnarled scale. DE says I want that. Gnarled. Gnarled. <laughs> gnarled. It says gnarled. Okay. Um, I see Shabazz. No. Spanky. I'm going to smack your mouth for, do, for doing your grandma like this. I seen Shabazz do a review and looks great. You didn't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, English teacher. Two point nine five three, so just under three inches. That's total blade length. So your cutting edge is smaller than that. You probably got like, like two and a half, two and three quarter on the cutting edge. Be better with the DLC blade and black hardware. Just saying. Oh, you wait. What's the liner? You lock? wait. Oh, I got Bell. something coming. Oh, Bell. Bell. That was Bell's blades that mm-hmm. said that. You wait, son. It's coming. It's coming. So, yeah. Like an old oak. Gnarled. Yeah, that's right. The gnarled oak. Did you see? Just under three. 
Did you see that new James brand integral? I did. Uh, Mr. Steve Kluver sent me a picture of it, and then I saw it. Uh, I can't remember what what email I got or something. I don't know. Somewhere <laughs> I've seen a few uh, advertisements for it, the old advertisements. Uh, it looks really cool, um, but I, yeah, I'm going to have to look at the <laughs> look into that. The price on that is is something. Five ninety nine was a little shocking. A little uh, I mean, it looks cool, and it looks like just from the pictures that I saw that the pocket clip is milled into it as well. So it's an integral titanium frame with a pocket clip all milled into one piece. Uh, so <laughs> I certainly understand the cost at that point. I mean, your setup time and stuff would be unbelievable. Uh, but there is a downside there. If you spring that pocket clip, that thing... Uh, bad deal, but but really really cool. I, I love to see innovation like that, and I'm just teasing, just a really cool teasing deal. you, Spanky. Uh, anyone buy the Chavez tech? I don't know. I don't know. I done did seen that their event occur the day. Mm. Yeah. Okay, Mikey. <laughs> um, he's on the crack cocaine. Um. Eggs, why are you doing um, forum posts and things? I don't understand. Why do you have to? Who says you have to? Speaking good and talking correctly. Mm -hmm. So, you guys will uh, have to let me know. Think of anything that you want to want me to check out at Blade Show over the next couple weeks so we can get a list going. And, uh, mm. like I said, if, if you want me to run anyone down to interview them or whatever or smack them around or you know whatever just whatever whatever uh, floats your boat what do you mean should be a good time homework oh lame <laughs> what homework is lame homework is lame yeah. yeah got it he is a procrastinator on his college homework ah yes yes uh, what's the Drift's liner lock like? Are they LC200N? Yes, they are. So, LC200N uh, liners and Vanek Super Clean Blade Steel. I'm super pumped to see 85,000's blade stock. Uh, is totally adequate and and very, very slicey. Loving that part. Uh, everything about this knife, I would love it a little bit more if it was a little bit bigger. Uh, but you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, otherwise I really like it. Uh, the Thai version is also very cool. Um, I do like the fact that the, the clip is reversible here. Uh, and that's only on the G10 variants that you can reverse the clip, but the clip works quite well. Uh, the hardware for the clip is mounted flush. So you can see right there. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, it's, they really addressed all the issues with the first drift and the detent on it is fantastic. Zach says, find me a Seabert Knife Centron at Blade. A Seabert Knife Centron. Okay. I'll have to look at, I don't know what that is. And I don't know if he's being, uh, real there or is he. Are you being facetious? Setting me up for something. It's like a $12,000 custom yeah, art probably. knife or something. Because that stuff will be there. Oh, that I'm, kind of I'm shit. Sure. Yeah, and Bells wants you to find a TRM Shadow. Oh, that, that's that's number one on my list at the moment is a TRM Shadow. I want in the in a bad way to get my hands on a TRM Shadow. So that is definitely happening as, it, it, as long as I can make it happen. I, you know. We'll see, but I'm doing everything in my power uh, to make it happen. So that's definitely one, in my opinion, out of all the things that TRM makes. Siebert, who made uh, the Adonis? Yeah, Shane Siebert. I just don't. I'm not familiar with the model. Mm. This is a Shane Siebert. Oh, okay. Uh, I just don't know the model uh, that he's talking about. But if it's something realistic, I'll absolutely pick one up for you, Zach. Uh, but. Uh, but yeah, the, the TRM Shadow, in my opinion, uh, just, you know, and I haven't handled one yet, so I, I don't know. But from from looking at it, I think that it looks like the best thing that TRM has made to date, mm -hmm. in my opinion. But 
So I'm excited to check out the, the TRM Shadow. Me too. Yep. Not. So, all right. Well, so. It's 9.15. 9.15. So, yeah, we need to get into this, huh? Yeah. All right. So, we're going to get into a little giveaway here. And um, Molly is setting the rules for said giveaway. How many ladies we got in the house tonight? Raise your hand if you're a lady. Raise your hand for all the ladies. I know. Katie. Katie's in here. And Lindy was. Lindy was in here. What about... Oh, shit. We forgot to open this. Oh, damn Speaking it. Speaking of ladies. Yeah. Here. Let's let's open this up real quick. Dude looks like a lady. I bet you do, top dog. Okay, so is Lacey in here? Lacey I don't Marie? Think, I have not seen her. Really? Yeah. Well, let's, let's get into this real quick. We're going to use this uh, sweet 85 thou blade here. Are you ready? For real, though. Who's ladies? Trying to do this without... Yeah, is Penny in here? I haven't seen Penny. I haven't been watching. BJ here. does have a vagina. Let's uh, do this. I know this one's for me, so I'm going to do this one for you. Okay. And this is for me. Gotcha. So check out this fancy bag we got here. So this was from... Uh, uh, yeah. Lacey Marie. Yeah. Uh, a person that is generally in the chat. I don't know where she's at tonight. But this was from Lacey Marie. And she... So what do we got here? What is this? It's a pillowcase. It's a pillowcase. Sweet. Oh, shit. Mine has cheeky deez. Mine's got Ooh, horses. Sorry. Yeah. Watch yourself. I didn't mean to. Mine has got Mugen. And it's got a tractor that's similar to my tractor. Um, yeah, that's an old international. I have an old Ford tractor. And we got horses, cows, little rock wall. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Lacey Marie. Okay, Mrs. Jigsaw's here. Beautiful. And then we have chickens on this one. It's upside down. Chicago, you are anything but a woman. <laughs> Melanie's here. Okay, perfect. One Minute's daughter is here. We'll count okay. that. Yep, that works. My fiancé and mother be watching. Okay, okay. perfect. We'll go with it. Yeah, La Larry, Penny, are you is okay? your wife here? I see Larry in there. I know, I know uh, his wife. Be watching with him sometimes. <laughs> Doesn't count, Sean. Okay. Crack horses? All right. Thank you so much, Lacey. That was yes. really kind of you. And love we it. greatly appreciate it. Absolutely. I love some farm stuff. Okay. So we've got a few things here for this giveaway. This is course, going Mrs. to be. Eggs. Um, yeah, of course. Katie's in the hizzy. Uh, here. Are you going to pick a number? Yeah. We're going to do a number, but don't say. Oh. And, and we're going to. We're going to give you the range of the number, but not until we are ready. So There's only going to be one winner, y'all. Yep, there's only one winner. It's a mega prize pack for one, one winner. And we're going to show you what all we've got here. There are some handmade stuff, some modded stuff. It's a good, it's a good pack of prize. Good pack of prize. Good pack of prize. Good pack of prize. Hold on just a second, folks. Yep, only for the ladies. So if you have a lady with you, because I know some folks, okay. Yep. Some folks always, uh, you know, watch together as a fan. Yep. Well, Stasa was in here too, right? Yeah. His Stasa, wife. Stasa, is your wife watching? Uh, Molly, Paxton left after I sent him tags for redheads. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going to get into to the giveaway stuff. Here, let's move some of this stuff out the way. Yep, for the ladies. Notice how a certain troll finally gave up? Yeah, because everybody ignored him. <laughs> Who was it? Uh, who do you think? Was he in here? Yes. Oh, I didn't even see it. As all names. Oh. What a dumbass. Yeah. Um, anyway, I just don't even understand why people do that. Like, how do you have that much time on your hands? 
I don't know. I don't know. get it. Just to be a jackass. Whatever. Not a big deal. Okay. Just a little FYI. No, the Russian mistress cannot win. <laughs> there, <laughs> there, there's a full size Adamus in the knife sale that's still, still there. Shocking, but it is. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we've got this right here. This is the QMS uh, Medico Cosmetics. Meta Cosmetics. I don't know. Lip serum. Whatever. I don't know. Shiny lip serum. We have. A clean skin club. Uh, I don't know. Some clean skin. Watermelon, green tea, and pineapple. Something or other. Uh, we have some... Merca llama socks. <laughs> Merca llama socks. It's I am a llama... A llama rican I... A llama... Lamerican. Lamerican. Okay. Right on. I so need that got serum. So we got... Lamerican, I am Lamerican socks. Um, no, Justin should not, not be explaining no this one. at all. No, I have no idea what these things are. Uh, he just took it and started doing it. We have this, uh, Rad Foams. Uh, you explain what these things are. This is just a fun little dumb unicorn uh, candy holder. This is a two-pack of no-show socks in American colors. This is a face wash, um, and uh, this is just like a lip uh, serum. Lip, Nothing. lip serum. Yeah, it okay. doesn't have to be so hard. <laughs> uh, whatever. Okay, now, a, a couple of weeks ago, we showed off, um, I made Molly a basket. Uh, I 3D printed her a basket. And she informed me that all ladies love baskets, but she said that we have to have nesting baskets. So that's what we have right here. We have a three pack of Russian nesting uh, baskets uh, for your uh, lady pleasure. Yeah, because ladies like things nested. Their baskets nested. And and you can use these for whatever you want. Uh, they're very, very strong. Uh, and we did them in multicolor uh, filament. So you can see here, these are your color ranges. Um, and so you've got a three pack of uh, Russian nesting baskets. Okay, big red. That all of this stuff fits in. Oh yeah, Nelly needs to get in on this. Yeah, Nelly's in on it. He's okay. gonna do it for Nelly. All right, perfect. Okay, so you've got this stuff right here. So this is the the lady basket, a Russian nesting basket, and then we also have this. So. Um, you wouldn't know, it, Mikey. <laughs> we, I'm, I'm gonna throw a patch in here as well, just so oh, we have something call. for, for the the men. So you get a patch, all of that stuff, the lip serum and this, and then we have this this little uh, pocket gem right here. Now, a lot of you are familiar with Finch Knife Company. Now, I modded this, Absolutely and uh, not Paxton. it's pretty cool. I like it. And so let's just see what we got here. So uh, that was the plastic that it originally came in. It comes with a Band-Aid. And it comes with a Finch. <laughs> flipping the Finch uh, sticker. Did you see the Finch sticker? I have seen them, yeah. Okay. And then uh, this one comes with the Finch uh, warranty card right there. And here is said Finch. So this uh, did not really turn out the way that <laughs> I... Big Red says, the heck with Nelly, I want that. <laughs> okay, so this is, it, it's and it's kind of hard to tell in this light. It's just going to look dark or black, but it's actually purple. Uh, and uh, so 154 CM blade steel. And we did uh, multiple things here. So generally this knife has a backspacer. It no longer does. Um, I deleted the she back don't. spacer <laughs> and then did some custom work on the scales. Uh, they are now textured. Uh, before it just had these scallop patterns in it and it was kind of slick. Um, now it is uh, much nicer to hold on to. And it's kind of a worn looking purple uh, with a, a little bit of, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. You'll have to see it in the light. Um, this little uh, medallion, which is a glow-in-the-dark thing, which here we'll see if we can uh, 
See how well that's going to work? Here. Yeah, monster. Yeah, let's open this up. Like, if you... Doesn't... Yeah, it's hard to... Yeah. You have a wife or mother nearby. Just ever... Yeah, you can play. Yeah, for sure. My wife's favorite color is purple. Nice, Rick. Right on. I like purple a lot, too. Okay, so, so that's what uh, what you guys are playing for. I'm trying to charge this up with a, with a purple flashlight here. There you go. Now we can see it. My, my uh, lighting didn't work very well. There you go. <laughs> so that thing was actually quite difficult to deal with. Um, and to get it out of there so I could do the work on the scales. Uh, so, yeah. That's little, fair, Poncho. I, I respect that. A little more difficult than I had anticipated on that deal. My but head time was 20 minutes ago. <laughs> action on it is phenomenal. It's a cool knife. It's custom. And, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Chicago says my goldfish had babies. Okay. So you're playing for your goldfish or what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the deal, guys. Um... The way that we're going to do this, we're going to play the numbers game. <laughs> we're going to pick a number. Um, e every person picks one number, okay? Just one time. If you start flooding numbers on the screen, uh, we're... I'll kick your butt out yep, so Mo fast. Molly's going to just start throwing bows, just dropping bows on bitches. I can be nice, but not often. <laughs> Okay, so so this whole entire setup is going to one person, one lady. Um, well, Todd, maybe tonight's her night. Yep, yeah. and uh, and so so we're gonna play the numbers game. Closest without going over wins, and whoever the winner is has to email us info at OCD for EDC. Okay. Yep, just for ladies. You can play for your lady though. Yep. Just one guess. So, like, eggs, Katie, her guess is going to be the only guess. Yours won't count, eggs, because you're both in here. Yeah. You follow? Okay. So, um, you will see a start come up on the screen from me. And when you do see that start, you we will give you the range of numbers to guess in. Um, and we'll let it run. It's not a race. So, we'll let it run for a few minutes. Everybody get their guess in there. <clears throat> Closest without going over, it wins. Are we ready? Is there anything else need to be said? Um, if you're international, uh, we'll talk about the shipping and whatnot. Um, yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Just, yeah, shouldn't be too big of a deal, but yeah. Yeah. All right. Everybody ready? You ready? Did we get everything said that I needs to be so. said? I think so. Okay. So the start is up on the screen. Now, the number that you're going to be picking is a range from 550 to 750. 550 to 750. Mm -hmm. What is it? Whatever will it be? Zach, is Zach playing for his wife? I don't know. Zach, are you going to play for your wife? I can't wife? remember her name, but, but she, yeah. He can definitely play for his wife as well. Whoa, some good guesses there. Close ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> A lot of guesses. We got a couple of really close ones. Really close. <whistles> Hashtag not an entry, dork. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah, if you, I mean, if uh, uh, if the guys want to throw a number out there just to, for fun, just put that in there. Not an entry or just for fun or whatever is cool. 
It's all good. 1.21 gigawatts. Get to 88 miles an hour. You okay, dude? Mm. He just ran into the covered door. <laughs> I think it was with his bone. Mm. All right. So, yeah, while that's going on, Molly's monitoring. Uh, yeah, if you guys uh, haven't checked out that new, uh, the new. Uh, Deal from James Brand. I can't remember what it's called. It's got kind of a interesting name. Uh, but that new Integral from James Brand's pretty cool. And then, uh, for those that don't know, the new uh, the new Tucson Button Lock, the 313, is out. Uh, you can check it out on, oh, on Tylee's eBay. playing. It's sweet. <laughs> Tylee's yeah. playing? Hell yeah. Tylee, you have got a package coming to you, little girl. I hope you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. There's some cool stuff in there. I look forward we're to not... watching you open that box when it comes. Where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> That's right. Um, so yeah, the James Brand thing's pretty cool. The new Tucson is pretty cool. And then there's a new one. I think it's called the Rockwell or the Rock something or other from uh, Tactile Turn. He said hers pumped. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, and then the new Tepe design. You guys know <laughs> that I love me some Tepe design. Hold on. Uh, Do you test your animals for drugs? You never know what they're doing when you're not looking. That's right. Sometimes, sometimes I have to go catch pee in a little drug <laughs> yeah, test cup. Yeah, Because you never know. Mugen, he's pretty crazy. He is pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, the new uh, Tepe design uh, knife, it's actually a collaboration between Tepe, uh, which is Sean Hassan, and uh, Night Morning Design. And it's the Tucson uh, TS-328. And it is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> uh, kind of similar to like the... The Quiet Carry Waypoint or the new Tactile Turn. Um, it's uh, it's gorgeous. Really looking forward to checking that one out. As well as the new Tucson Button Lock because it's gorgeous as well. Really cool. Alright, we about done with the guesses? Yep. Alright, has everybody got their guess in? Is there a video on the new Tucson, Mark? No, there isn't, but I have both of those headed my direction, and as soon as they show up here, I will be putting an unboxing video out. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that because they look, both of them look fantastic. <laughs> Grateful. He said, I did have a cat that would come running when the bong came out. Bong came out. Of course you did. Of course you did. Back in the day when I was in college, and this, this, this kind of came up on Ray from EDCC's podcast that he does on Monday nights. Go, You guys need to go check that out if you're not already going there. But um, he brought up, do you, you have a Chia pet? And back in the day when I, back in my college days, I there was a cat head Chia pet. If you guys remember the cat head. And uh, I fashioned one of those into a bong in the house, the house I lived in. It was, uh, yeah, quite, quite comical. We were Good naughty, times. Naughty kids back then. Yeah. Naughty really kids. Really naughty. You know what I mean. Yeah. Right on. Okay. Well, I, everybody got their guests in. We're going to say that. Uh, yeah, we're going to call it there. You did what now? <laughs> Nothing, Mikey. We're angels. We're perfect. That's right. We've never That's done right. a bad thing in our lives. Went to church. That's what I did. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Egg said I turned everything into a bomb. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, been there. We turn a champagne I, bottle into a bong. So uh, just a yeah, little. Yeah, but my my cat was at, that thing was yeah, legendary. No, I'm not. I'm not even. It's not a competition, Dad. Oh no, it is. Um, so I worked in a, a hardware store. Hardware store. Thank you for a long, long time. And we so she see his lamp parts. Yeah, I was gonna to say she had uh, or plenty of lamp parts. Uh, yeah, 10 out of 10, best thing. Yeah, hitters galore. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. 
So where you are we at here? In. Yep, I already did. Yep, it's yeah. already up there. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, well. So it here's was, it was definitive. Yeah, it was definitive. Oh, we didn't even put the piece of paper out there. Uh, well, generally, we do a little of this action. Oh yeah, but sorry. This this is was wrote down. Written. So <laughs> our uh, range was five fifty to seven fifty. The number was six two six. 626, and I saw a 625. Yes, 625. Dennis Watson. Dennis Come Watson. Come on down. Uh, we can go Tell back and check. Tell you, lady, that, is, I, is that I checked multiple okay. times. Okay. Molly's saying that that for sure is the winner. Um, but I'm just going to double check here just to make sure that we don't see. Y'all who chose 616. Not a bad guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That I'm kind of surprised. Actually, that that's you. like my other favorite. Yep. Molly just wrote that number down while we were sitting here. Yeah, I, yeah. Dennis Watson. Dennis Watson. So Dennis, please email me at info at ocd for edc dot com. He said, "Yay, my wife will love that package." Wonderful. So yeah. Awesome. Well, you guys uh, go check out the website. Do all those things. Um, yeah, we're going to uh, get this stuff shipped out to Dennis. We got a whole bunch of stuff from the knife sale and from the website to ship out. And uh, so, yeah, we got lots of packages, the stuff here. And yeah, probably tomorrow. Go evening. get your patch and your strop and all those things. Your CME. So, yeah, yeah do that. Buy the Good things. Good times. Support the things. Do the things. Show all the channels the love. That's right. Go check out all the channels. We've, we've got a whole community going on here with Big Red and Zach and BJ at Hilltop Knives Larry. and Gear, Eggs and Ham. Larry, go watch the sale video or check the list because there's tons of stuff left. There's no reason to say you've missed it because it's still going on. Yep, it's still there and it's still active. Um, yeah, so you guys, uh, yeah, go check out all the other channels. Um, like I said, Eggs and Ham, they've started a new channel. Go check them out. Uh, and yeah, there's tons of people in the knife community. It's so awesome. It's really cool to be a part of it. And uh I can't thank you all enough for the love and support you've shown us. It's been uh, pretty fantastic. So, yep, anything yep. else you want to say? Thanks, everybody, for the happy Mother's Day wishes. They're inundating. Yeah, yep. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you so much. I am going to go to bed now. <laughs> all right, guys. Oh, and uh, thank you so much to Lacey for the pillowcases. Those are fantastic. And yes. very, very nicely made. The yes. stitching on these looks very... Yeah, I you're was... way better at using your sewing machine than I am at using yeah, mine. Yeah, I, I thought these were factory done there for a minute. Right? Compared, yeah, but very, You don't want to nice see the abominations hidden, I've made. <laughs> hidden stitches. Oh, that one bag. That bag. You <laughs> should that probably show that, that abomination. That candy bag was... <laughs> oh, that was unbelievable. That's for another day. Yep. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We greatly appreciate it. Hope everybody has a wonderful week this week. Uh, keep all your chins up. And uh, yeah, good times. Warp. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. We gone.